Hello. <laughs> Thank you for coming. On tenor saxophone, from the Lower East Side of Manhattan, we have John Ellis. I mean, he's not from the Lower East Side of Manhattan, but that's where he's, he came from. From Campinas, Sao Paulo, Felipe Silveira on the piano. That's in Brazil. Paulinho Vicente, also from Campinas, on the drums. And uh, from Lisbon, but from Sao Paulo too, Tiago Alves on the bass. So I'm going to be doing a lot of multitasking tonight, and I'm starting it off while, uh, by doing the announcements while tuning. So uh, we're going to play some music for you guys from the most recent uh, Sunnyside Records CD that we recorded outside of Campinas, actually way outside of Campinas. I thought it was going to be closer, but uh, back in, was it, it was last summer, right? It was like summer of uh, 2022 that we did it? July. July. That's right. And uh, yeah, really happy about how the album turned out and really happy that I could get uh, the three uh, Brazilian musicians. We were here in 2019 before COVID, and so I'm glad that we have them back. And uh, hello to everyone out there in, in streaming land. Um, we've got some music and some visuals and all that good stuff for you. We're going to start with a, a song I wrote called The Ancient Song.
Thank you, the ancient song. I actually wrote that as I was on a bike ride with my kids. And somehow, into my head entered this I don't know where it came from. Maybe I heard it somewhere. I feel like someday I'm going to hear it again. And, oh, that's where I got it from. And uh, yeah. So we're going to continue with the title track of the CD, which is called Way Back. And, uh, you know, the term way back means several things. One, I go way back with all these guys. Before, you know, 2019 when they were here, I think I first started playing with uh, Paulinho and Tiago in like 2011 or 2012, because I go to Sao Paulo, uh, Brazil a lot. My wife's from there. I've been going there since like 2001. And uh, I think Felipe started playing with around that 2018 uh, time 2017 something like that it gets a little it's a little fuzzy as you when you get to be my age y'all and uh, John I remember seeing uh, John play in New Orleans in the 90s uh, he would play I remember when you played at the funky butt with uh, Aaron Goldberg and uh, for roots branches and leaves and uh, we've done a bunch of records together I forget it's like seven or something like that so we go way back and uh, this song is called way back because I, I wrote it you know, I've been, lately I've been writing a lot of music, kind of like that last one, that very involved and everybody's got a part. It's like this piece goes here and this goes there. And I was like, man, I never write any just like lead sheet tunes anymore. I need to sit down and write something that you could actually just bring to a gig and people could play it. So I, start, I wrote this tune and it reminded me of uh, some music from like jazz tunes from the 80s and 90s, particularly some Steve Mazikowski stuff, which I'm... Uh, you know, constantly referencing in my playing and composition. So this is way back. Thank you. 
That was way back, way back, y'all. So um, speaking of way back, actually, this next uh, song we're going to play um, is based on an idea from someone who wrote music way back, uh, J.S. Bach. And uh, it's nice we have uh, Fred Hamilton here in the audience tonight, former guitar teacher, because uh, <laughs> It was Fred that, that got, uh, well, not just me, but all the guitar uh, students in his studio playing out of the uh, box sonatas and partitas. And there was this particular, uh, I was playing through something with a, with a student some years back, and there was this particular line, in, I think in the B minor uh, partita sonata, whatever it is. And uh, I was like, man, that like, sounds like a super modern jazz guitar kind of uh, thing. It's like, you know what, I'm gonna take that. I think it's public domain, right? I can just, I can use it, what's he gonna? Um, Noel Johnson was telling me he doesn't actually have any descendants, which seems strange, because he has so many children. But like living descendants, you know. Anyway, I digress. But uh, yeah, so I, I started writing this thing, and it kind of turned into a, I don't know, what is this song? It's almost like, it's like a prog rock, Bach, jazz, with some Brazilian stuff. I don't know what it is. I like, I like mixing all these different things together, and, and every now and then it, it works out. So anyway, this is Bachian. Thank you. 
Bakien. You don't get more way, much more way back than Bach. Than Bach, way. Bach. Wow. So, uh, it's time for the uh, 
the vocal interlude. So, you know, when I was a student here, I was actually uh, in the jazz singers for a while. I didn't really have any solos. I was just, you know, singing parts and things like that. And throughout the years, I've tried to uh, sing a little bit here and there. And I really, uh, I write lyrics a lot. I kind of have a uh, literary streak. So part of the singing is just, you know, uh, the lyrical thing. And on this record, I, I sing one song. Um, some of the other records I did for Sunnyside are much more uh, vocal heavy. But this tune came about, uh, first I'm gonna take a drink of water. Mm. Gotta stay hydrated, y'all. Um, I was actually listening to uh, the most recent uh, Sting solo album. It's, uh, what's it called, The Bridge? And there's a song on there called, uh, I think it's called For Her Love. And he's got this line in the song that goes, uh, he's got no money, but his head's up in the stars. He'll spray her name across a streetcar. He can't understand the lines up there on Mars, but he'll find some meaning in a street light. And I was like, wow, that's, kinda, that's a good line. So I took that for the title. The song is called Meaning in a Street Light. And it kind of came out when I started writing the words. And uh, it sort of came out as, as me maybe talking to my kids a little bit, you know, as a, as a dad with young boys. I'm, I spent a lot of time, you know, thinking about what I should tell them, what I shouldn't tell them, things like that, you know how much money I'm spending on hockey, <laughs> things like that. But, um, so this is meaning in a street light. First I'm gonna tune though, y'all. And sing and tune, hopefully. I wish I could tune, like, tune that, you know. <laughs> Close enough. Let's see if I got some monitor here, more or less. All right. Covered in gray snowfall, numbers betray, count all, see what you've learned, pages turning. Struggle alone, be brave, all that you lose, you say free, little boys, are you learning? Once I promised these days I'm honest, meaning on a street light calls me.
I promised these days I'm honest Meaning in a street light calls me Calls me Calls me Thank you. Meaning in a streetlight. Okay. We have reached the supreme multitasking moment of the, uh, of the evening.
So uh, one of the songs on the album is called uh, Wintry Mix, and it's actually uh, my favorite one on the album. And I think the fa my favorite thing that I've recorded in the sense that, you know, I try all these strange blending of styles and mixtures, and I feel like this one, I went a little too far, but somehow it, it worked out. And the idea of the song, um, you know, I'm from New Orleans, and the geography here in uh, Denton is very different than what I grew up with. And uh, at times, I, you know, I miss the, uh, the green of New Orleans and the, the beauty of like the swamp, <laughs> basically. But there's a stretch of uh, highway that I find really beautiful here, which is, you know, when uh, 35 West kind of meets 35 East and you head out toward Fort Worth before it gets uh, populated. And it's just you and the cows, you know, and the hills. And I always found that, that part, uh, that stretch of highway kind of majestic. And, uh, and then I started thinking about, you know, the weather that we get sometimes, like probably pretty soon of the, the ice and the snow and these crazy like mixtures of, uh, is it snowing? Is it freezing rain? Like what's going on? The, the wintry, wintry mix. And uh, so I just started visualizing this kind of scene of uh, driving down that stretch of highway and the, well, I wouldn't want to be driving in the wintry mix, but just kind of visualizing it. And, uh, you know, I, I met at a, a party my wife was working at UT Dallas and at a party over there, I met uh, Dr. Christine Veras and Philip Martin who uh, work as animators uh, over there at UT Dallas. And I don't know how it came up, but I was like, oh yeah, I have this song that is very cinematic, you know, maybe, you know, da da da. And it was funny, because I, you know, I know nothing about uh, animation and what goes into it. And me and uh, Dr. Veras got to talking, and she was, like, <laughs> she was like, how long is it? And I was like, oh, it's like, you know, it's like seven minutes. And she was like, because apparently, you know, they do things like frame by frame, and you know, like a second is a thing, right? Like for us, we're like, boom, a second. Seven minutes is actually really short for a, for a jazz tune. But uh, somehow, uh, Christine and, and Philip managed to do this great animation. We won an award uh, for it. And we're going to try, so here comes the multitasking. So, you know, it's synced to the uh, master take from the record. And we're going to try to play exactly what we played on that. No, not exactly, but the same time lengths of that so that everything lines up perfectly. And I believe my friend uh, is going to dim the lights a little bit, not so much that, oh, look at that, see? I think they're good here, right, you know? I didn't see him go back there. Okay, bear with me for one second, because there's also, you, you're gonna see this, this is gonna be impressive, y'all, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go uh, tap, slide, play. You're gonna see it, it's gonna work perfectly. But first,
All right, we did our best, y'all. Sorry, we didn't quite, quite nail it. I timed it out. Thank you, Dr. Veris and uh, Philip, for. Uh, and you can see, the, you know, the. Uh, it's on my YouTube channel. It's up there. It's on all the million social media things, links, and to uh, see the original video. All right. Who we got? Liz. Okay. How are we doing? Oh, we're doing great. So uh, another m mixture of, of styles. I'm a, I'm a big fan of, I don't know if any of you are familiar with, uh, Liz Fair, the songwriter, singer-songwriter. And uh, back in the early 90s, like, her music had a really profound effect on me. And still does to this day, particularly like the record she put out in 2021 or 2022. It was called a Soberish. So good. And uh, it brought me back, you know. And so I took one of her melodies, or two of her melodies, and uh, I hope she doesn't uh, sue me for all the, the big bucks I made off this song, you know. That would be unfortunate. But I'd be happy to share with her. The, uh, because she's great. We love you, Liz. So this is called Liz.
Thank you. Thank you, Liz. Uh, we got one more song for y'all. One more time for the great John Ellis. Plays <laughs> good. Is this, this maybe your, is this your first time here at UNT? Or? <laughs> He's been so many places, you know, you just, you lose track of him. But it's probably your definitely your first time here in the recital hall. Yes. So, uh, Roussel Hall, I mean the recital hall. And uh, Felipe Silvera on the piano, back with us after four years. Man, too long, too long. Paulinho Vicente on the drums. All the way from Portugal, Thiago Alves. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for coming and listening to uh, this music. Uh, you can, you know, check out the CD. I've got copies if, you, if you're old school like I am. It's also, you know, on all the streaming services and those kinds of places. And uh, we're going to play one more tune. Uh, this one is called Check Up. And it's uh, rhythmically, it's, it's very kind of in the bossa nova uh, vein. And it's called Check Up because uh, it's based on uh, a Billy Stray, well, one chord progression in a Billy Strayhorn song called Upper Manhattan Medical Group which I, I really love, although it's gotta be the strangest title in the jazz repertoire. And I realized like if I wrote a song like that today, it would be called Blue Cross Blue Shield of Texas. <laughs> that would be a weird title for a tune, right? But, uh, <laughs> I love doing that joke. And, uh, but he has this one in the song, he makes this chord, see this is a jazz audience so I can do this. Some in other places I'm like, am I really gonna do this right now? But uh, he gets this chord, to go to this chord. He does like a. He gets an F major to go to like an A flat minor seven flat five. And that always tripped me out, one trying to play over it and make it smooth. And so I, I started from there and uh, you know, I put every chord I knew in the song and some I didn't know and still don't know. Well, this is Check Up. Thank you all again for coming.
Thank you so much.